Good morning, neighbors. Welcome to another episode of Brigantine Living Live. I'm your host, Leslie Jesperson, and we have another really exciting show for you today. But first, we want to say hello to everyone at Holiday Architects who is watching from our watch party. If you haven't been to one of our watch parties before, you definitely need to keep an eye out on our social media to see when the next one is. It's super fun and intimate, and we have coffee and breakfast and we mix and mingle. And so hi to everyone who is at the watch party. Thank you for being here. Shout out to Big Red Homestead for handling breakfast and PJ's Coffee for keeping us caffeinated on this Saturday morning. So this past week was a doozy. We had a lot going on. We had Chinese New Year. We had Mardi Gras. We had Valentine's Day. We had, and now we're into President's Day weekend. How did I never realize that February is so busy of a month? Um, now, coming up on this week's episode, we are going behind the scenes uh, for our new segment called Behind the Build with Holiday Architects and Allison Paul Builders. And then we're heading offshore to Galloway to Tailgaters for National Margarita Day. That is on this upcoming Thursday, the 22nd. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back with news, events, and our fun segments. With Holiday Architects, you're enlisting an experienced team to create a home you can make memories in for generations to come, whether you're starting from scratch or need renovations or additions. Exceptional design tailored to your unique vision. Holiday Architects. I'm Michelle Tomko with Brigantine Living Live, and I'm super stoked to be at the Brigantine Community School, and I am talking with a trio of podcasters. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves and tell me a little bit about the podcast? I'm Anna. I'm Ava. And I'm Bella. And we've been doing this podcast for about two months. Yeah. Um, we also started the podcast because Miss Grimley gave us the opportunity so you had an assignment to do a podcast. You took up that challenge. How did you pick the theme of your podcast? How did you guys pick to work together? Tell me about how you created it. So basically, we had this meeting, and she was like, if you want to have a podcast, you can come up, and we'll tell you about everything that you need to know, and we'll teach you how to work the equipment, and we can come up with ideas. And me, Ava, and Bella, we wanted to come up with a podcast about women empowerment, and Miss Grimley and Mr. Robbins were like, that's a really good idea because I feel like it's just not talked about enough, especially at our school. So you saw a problem and you're looking to fix it. So I like that idea. Now, how did the three of you decide? Are you guys friends outside of school? Um, we know each other from basketball and school. And then we met each other from softball, the rec team, when we first moved down here. All right, I have a question for Bella. So how do you not interrupt each other? How do you toss it back and forth to each other so it, the podcast has energy to it? Well, when we're, like, talking on the podcast, we all kind of just go in order. Normally, Anna sits at the end, and I sit in the middle. We all just kind of go from one side to the other. And if we do interrupt each other, we normally, like, edit it out or just, like, talk about it. Ava, how much do you rehearse, like, prior to doing the podcast? Um, normally, we sit outside of this room and we talk about all the topics that we want to talk about on the podcast. And when we have ideas of things that we want to say, most of the time we say them and then everyone else just goes off of each other's energy and talks about it. Now, who do you look to out in the world that the folks at home would know? Like, wow, they are really working towards empowering women. It's probably Courtney and Kate. That's who I look to. Their podcast is called Unsupervised Leadership. We were actually featured on it. Oh, and who do you look up to 
um, as far as any kind of idols or heroes out in the world? Um, besides my mom, um, probably a little bit to Miss Grimley because she's always being positive and she's ready for most of the things that are going on. And even when things get a little messed up, she's always ready for whatever's coming next. I think your allowance and your grades both went up with that answer, <laughs> so good for you. <laughs> Tell me about this equipment. Do you guys know how to work all this stuff? There's a lot of buttons and gadgets here on our table. So my friend here, Ava, actually does all Are the you the tech person, Ava? Yeah. All right, so you're the one that figures everything out? Yeah, so in the beginning, we turn it on. Uh -huh. Most of the time, the other podcasts, since we all share the equipment, mm -hmm. the SIM card isn't always in there, so we have to go out to one of the computers to get it, and then we can record here, or like pause the recording, and then start it again, and then you can take the SIM card out, and there's another part that goes into the computer, and then you have to link all of the recordings to the computer to make it into one like sound. And you know how to do all that? Yes. What grade are you in? Seven. Wow, that's amazing. And what are all these little other buttons and dials? They, I, These colors wouldn't work for me. It makes me hungry. They look like little candy. <laughs> um, all of them are either sound effects or okay. they can make your voice sound differently. Okay. And then these ones are how loud we are. All right. This is who's talking or if you don't want that on, like if you don't want to hear well, and then this is the volume to the headset of each microphone and headset. And you, are you some? Are you running that in real time while the podcast is going on? Do you sit in front of this and, yes. and operate this and talk? Okay, you're. The, uh, how about you? You don't want to learn the technology about it, Bella? Um, I just think it's kind of confusing, but... Me too. I am not good at technology, so I'm glad I'm friends with Ava now. But every time when we edit or something, Ava tries to show us a little bit about how she does it, and um, she tries to, like, teach us on how to, like, do everything. I love it. So we've got three basketball stars, one technician, but two budding young technicians, <laughs> and three awesome podcasters. So tell me the name of the podcast. Power, Power Up podcast. podcast. Power Up Podcast. How'd you come up with the name? Um, we did it based off of a confidence thing. We thought that women empowerment is also not just empowering other people, but the confidence part of it is empowering yourself. And the Power Up podcast, it just kind of rhymed and flowed together. And we like have this kind of thing. It's like power up your confidence with Power Up podcast. So how are you finding all of your information, how are you getting yourselves to uh, p power up? Where are you learning all about this women empowerment? Definitely my mom. My mom okay. has always told me and always raised my confidence. So a lot of people don't have someone like her in their lives, so I want to be that person for them. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so much for talking with me today teaching me a little bit about this. Ava, will I be able to come in and you'll show me how to use one of these boards? Yes, of course. All right, I'll see you next week then. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. journey of life, finding balance is key. Welcome to Hello Wellness Counseling Services, here to support you on your journey of healing to wellness. We understand that everyone's path is unique, and that's why we offer a wide range of services to support your mental and emotional health. We are here for you every step of the way. Visit HelloWellnessCS.com. Ciao, neighbors! Indulge in the taste of Italia without venturing too far. Visit Brigantine's very own Casale al Mare. Experience freshly grated cheeses, oils and vinegars, imported pastas, and enjoy a handcrafted drink from the espresso bar. Follow them on Facebook to stay up to date on upcoming events, weekly deliveries, seasonal products, recipes, and so much more. Casale al Mare.
Hi, I'm Scott Nearing from Holiday Architects. I'm Ralph Busco from Alice and Paul Builders. So now we're in a two-story house, and you can see, start to see the differences with the ceiling heights, uh, like we talked about last episode. So with a two-story home, you get uh, higher ceilings because obviously there's no third floor, and there's a lot more. Uh, the homes can become a lot more creative. There is more aesthetically pleasing on the inside as well as the outside. And we have 15 to 16 foot ceilings here with uh, drop down pendants, a lovely bar behind us, fireplace, and inside the home, you can just, you can do a lot more with it than with a traditional three story home. The benefits with doing a two story house, like Ralph started to say, was that we're gonna get more ceiling height, more open living, uh, because we're not restricted with the building height, we can go wider with the footprint of the home. And also not every family needs to have five, six, seven bedrooms. So therefore with a two story home, uh, you might keep it down to a four bedroom, five bedroom home, uh, gives you an office, a, you know, maybe a den, uh, a study, and you can get a lot more creative inside the house with that. Here's a two story home that fits uh, both the couple's needs, and they did a great job in here. One last thing about uh, the benefits of two-story home, you do not need an elevator. This is reverse living here with a second floor, but you don't need an elevator to get up to this level. So this bar that I'm staying at, I would love to take credit for it, but honestly, the homeowners went out on their own, uh, hired someone, and probably this is one of the best bars uh, that I've done in a lot of the homes. As you can see, you have an onyx top here with light coming underneath it. All of this is handmade, uh, individual wood pieces, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you also have the front here, which is a, it's a beautiful piece. I must say they went on their own, they did this, and we do give people the opportunity with Alice and Paul and also with Scott and Holiday Architect to go out on their own and get their own people to do certain items in the home. Well, it also uh, allows them to bring in their uniqueness and their indivi individuality um, into the job. We're not necessarily specking every piece, like Ralph said. It's, it's really a custom piece for, for their home. And this fits perfect in this area, as you can tell. I mean, uh, they had limited space here on the second floor. The gentleman came in, he tucked it in, he made it fit perfect, and it's just like it belongs here, and that it was drawn on the plan that way, and it really wasn't. So this is a unique uh, aspect of what the homeowners did and also what we've done. With Holiday Architects, you are enlisting an experienced team to create a home you can make memories in for generations to come, whether you're starting from scratch or need renovations or additions. Exceptional design tailored to your unique vision. Holiday Architects. Welcome back to Brigantine Living Live, neighbors. Let's see what we've got going on this week and this month if you're someone who likes to plan ahead. All right, tomorrow the Claridge is hosting a bridal show. So if you're recently engaged, definitely check that out. I know I loved going to the bridal shows when I was engaged because you can, there's always a chance to win something for free. You get to maybe do some cake tasting samplings, see some DJs, and it's a really cool way to meet new vendors. 
Uh, Thursday, the 22nd, Little Water Distillery and Cardinal Restaurant have teamed up for a four course dinner with five cocktails. So I don't know, maybe call an Uber, um, five cocktails. That's pretty impressive, guys. I will have to say, if you have not been to Cardinal Restaurant for their brunch yet, we went, uh, we actually rode bikes on the boardwalk last weekend and we stopped there for brunch. It was incredible. If you're looking for someplace new to try, check them out. If you are an old school Brady Bunch fan, your presence is requested at Resorts Casino for a very Brady murder mystery. You've heard me talk about these murder mystery shows. They are always so fun and interactive. Try something new. Uh, the show is tonight and next Saturday. The 2024 Discover Boating Atlantic City Boat Show is coming up Wednesday, February 28th through Sunday, March 3rd. It is a, um, it's at the Atlantic City Convention Center. It's a one-stop shop for boats, boating accessories, and on-the-water adventures. It has something in store for every boater, they say. Um, hundreds of vessels on display and plenty of interactive boating exhibits for the whole family. So if you're in the market for a boat, definitely check that out. Saturday, March 9th is the Atlantic City St. Patrick's Day Parade. Personally, my one of my favorite events of the entire year. If you, if you enjoy some sensory overload and the color green, you want to check that out. But here is an even bigger enticement. We will actually be in the parade broadcasting our show live. We don't know how we're doing it yet, but we're gonna be there, we're gonna be in the parade. That is Saturday, March 9th on the Atlantic City Boardwalk. The Brigantine Chamber is hosting a leprechaun chase, which is, um, from what they explained to me, it's basically like a pub crawl, uh, a pub crawl with jitneys, and that's on March 10th. Save the date for March 12th. Uh, the Marine Mammal Stranding Center's fundraiser, Ales for Whales, is at Tennessee Avenue Beer Hall. You will have a buffet-style dinner. They're gonna have drink specials, raffle baskets, live entertainment, and they want you to come dressed in your St. Patrick's Day best. It's only $35 for early bird tickets through the end of February, and then $45 um, all the proceeds for ticket sales, from the ticket sales and the raffles will go directly toward the life-saving work that the Marine Mammal Stranding Center does. What an incredible cause. I don't think you're gonna find a better deal than this that uh, benefits our animals. And finally, the Brigantine St. Patrick's Day Parade is on March 16th. And then if we're zooming out into Atlantic County, Every Tuesday night, you want to head out to Egg Harbor Township Vagabond and play Not Your Mama's Bingo with our friend, our guest host, and comedian Michelle Tomko. Sunday, February 24th, Akashic Jiu-Jitsu in Marmora is hosting a free women's self-defense seminar at 10 a.m. Sunday, February 25th, Hard Rock Cafe is hosting a Beyonce-themed drag brunch. And if you just feel like dancing on a Friday night, head over to Andre's Wine Bar and Grill for Gravity Mix Entertainment Live DJ. Thanks for tuning in. As always, if you have any news or events that you would like us to broadcast on air, you can email brigantineliving at gmail.com. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Brigantine Living Live. Hello neighbors, I am out at Tailgaters in Galloway, New Jersey, right on the White Horse Pike, celebrating National Margarita Day, which is this Thursday, the 22nd. We're gonna hear about all kinds of specials they're doing, featuring margaritas. <laughs> This menu is incredible. They have daily specials from 6 p.m. to close, happy hour. I've seen their burgers and pizzas. I've tried their burgers. I've tried their uh, gluten-sensitive pizza is really good. I could probably come here every single day and still not try everything on the menu, but I definitely think I'm gonna be eating lunch here.
Okay, so Ari, we've got a whole bunch of tequila on the table. Tell me what this National Margarita Day is and what you guys are doing to celebrate. Well, it's just fun, uh, <laughs> first of all. No, we're, uh, we're bringing in a uh, new Patron. It's a smoked Patron, smoked Ooh. tequila. Um, it has a lot closer to like a mezcal uh, okay, flavoring yeah. because of the smoky flavors. We're doing uh, Silver Patron. We're bringing in Cazadores as well. Okay. And uh, we're giving away these uh, really cool little cups. Yeah, so if you are a margarita fanatic, this is the place to be. Is there yeah, a it's specific be, time? Well, I don't like times. I like doing it all day. <laughs> okay. Um, but the hot time would be like happy hour, kind of like right after work. Like okay. Like four or five o'clock. But if you, Absolutely. if it's noon Absolutely. and you're ready to start celebrating. Well, it's always happy hour somewhere, so. <laughs> then come on in. Okay, awesome. So we can get these cool um, margarita Patron bottles. Definitely come try out this um, new smoked, it says it's agave cooked over charcoal for a smooth, smoky taste. And there's always good food. Yes. You've got your happy hour going yeah, on. We're gonna be doing taco specials, uh, quesadilla specials. Um, and the craziest part about this whole thing is that somehow or another we ended up working out uh, a price point that is insane. Like we're looking at like anywhere from like six to nine dollars wow. for Patron uh, uh, margaritas, which is unheard of. A single of. digit? Yeah, no, you're not going to find that anywhere. It, it is. It, it really is unheard of. And uh, we were uh, lucky enough to uh, have these uh, cups to give away as a souvenir. And um, I'm excited for it. Um, I know my kids are too, even though they're not drinking it. But I know they like the cups, so. Yeah, these are It'll super pretty cool. Neat. They're not taking them to school though. So. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so tailgaters in Galloway, right on the White Horse Pike. And then in the summertime, they can also, from your brain, find Tiki Taco yes. in Brigantine. Yes, we awesome. opened that. Thank you. Uh, this is gonna be our fourth year. Which wow. is insane, but uh, time flies. But I love yeah. Tiki Taco. That's in walking distance to my house, so Thank I'm you. always there. Awesome. Yeah, we're uh, probably going to be open sometime in May, uh, and we usually end up shutting down like mid-September, which I hate. I I would love to keep it open. Uh, so we'll we'll see how that goes. It's yeah. always tentative. So yeah. We'll okay. See. So keep an eye out on social media. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. I'm always uh, pretty loud, and you'll <laughs> see us on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram. Oh boy. All right, awesome. Well, thanks for having us. Well, thank you for having us. Come I appreciate on out it. Thursday the 22nd and celebrate National Margarita Day at Tailgaters. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. In the journey of life, finding balance is key. Welcome to Hello Wellness Counseling Services, here to support you on your journey of healing to wellness. We understand that everyone's path is unique, and that's why we offer a wide range of services to support your mental and emotional health. We are here for you every step of the way. Visit HelloWellnessCS.com. Ciao, neighbors! Indulge in the taste of Italia without venturing too far. Visit Brigantine's very own Casale al Mare. Experience freshly grated cheeses, oils and vinegars, imported pastas, and enjoy a handcrafted drink from the espresso bar. Follow them on Facebook to stay up to date on upcoming events, weekly deliveries, seasonal products, recipes, and so much more. Casale al Mare. I'm Michelle Tonko with Brigantine Living Live, and I'm with the Brigantine Community School 
news crew, right? You guys do the announcements. You're going to tell us about that. So you're getting a little behind the scenes of what you see every day on YouTube. So I'm with Cecilia and I'm with Annabella. Tell us what's going on. So we form, film the morning announcements the day prior, every day for our school to see, like, what's up, like, what the lunch is, um, if there's theme days, the day, sporting events. like, sporting events, dances. So any of that stuff goes on to the BCC, and we schedule it for the next day so that everyone can see it in the morning. Very cool. Well, so how do you find out all of your news? Are people running up and handing you pieces of paper and you're sifting through emails, or do you have streamlined ways to get information? Um, no. One of our teachers, Mr. DeFelice, he writes a script, and then we just basically read off the script um, every day. And, yeah, that, that's basically really how we get our information. Um, just some teachers say stuff, we find out stuff, and we just add it to the script. So, Cecilia, how did you get interested in even wanting to volunteer to do it? Um, well, I joined the NJHS, the National Junior Honor Society, and um, basically that's one of the jobs that you do when you um, make it into NJHS. You get to do the morning announcements. Ah, okay. So it's an honor that goes along with being in the honor society. Yes. How about you, Annabelle? What got you interested in doing it? Because if you're camera shy, I assume they don't yeah. force you to do it, right? Yeah. So what has you interested? Well, when we would watch it in the mornings when it first started, it always piqued my interest. Like, I was like, wow, look at those kids that get to go on the news every morning. That's so cool. So then when I joined NJHS, they were like, we need people to do the morning announcements every morning since we don't do it over the loudspeaker anymore. So that's kind of how I got into it. And you had a special name for the crew, right? It's the BCC. It's the BCC News Crew, we the call BCC it. The BCC News Crew, because it's not just the two of you. There's other people and there's two different teams. So you yes. don't have to do it every day. Yeah, we d switch off every other week. Okay, so you're on one week and you're off one week. That's yeah. cool. So what has it done for you? Has it given you any kind of uh, more confidence? Have you yeah. learned anything that you didn't know before when you were doing it? Um, definitely, yeah. I learned that there's a lot more work than it seems to be because um, it's not that easy to put out these um, videos on YouTube every morning. It, like Now that I've seen the work that goes into it, I have a lot more respect for uh, people who edit stuff. Yeah, it's not just point and shoot. There's a lot of behind the scenes things that go on. We'll keep up the good work because I remember when I was in school, it's very important to know, especially what the lunch menu is. Because I know <laughs> if I have to pack or if I'm getting, yeah. if it's pizza or taco day. So yeah. thank you for all your hard work that you're uh, do, uh, doing to get all the news to uh, the student body here. You're so welcome. Great. Keep up the good work. Thanks a lot. Okay, neighbors, that is it for another episode of Brigantine Living Live. We are your trusted and local source for all things going on in Brigantine and Atlantic County. As always, if you have something that you think the world, the county, your area, your community should know about, please feel free to submit it. If you want to be a part of our show, we are now booking for spring and summer. Can you believe it already? You're just going to email brigantineliving at gmail.com and we will get you set up. Uh, also, if you would like to become a supporter of our show, because all of this is funded by you, our viewers, and our incredible advertisers, uh, we do have an amazing patron program that starts at just $10 per month. All you have to do to get more information, to get the link to enroll, you're going to text 609-300-3163, and all you have to do is put patron. So text patron to 609-300-3163 and we'll get you set up. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, please drop a comment, leave a review on our Facebook page and share it with your friends. Make sure that you tune in every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Local news is back, baby. Spread the word. We'll see you next week.